Y'all niggas been steady telling me to review 90 Day Fiance. Look here. I get it. Y'all want a review? I got a review for you. <laughs> you want to hear it? Here it go. <laughs> Mo and I am back <laughs> for my new review of 90 Day Fiance, y'all. This is season four, episode one, Love Can't Wait. Let me just get into regular church announcements, y'all. Get that out the way before we get into this. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to your auntie channel. I sure appreciate you. Before you leave, let me know you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up and then make sure your notification bells are turned on. Look here. Okay, I get it. I get it. Y'all been telling me for the longest that I need to review 90 Day Fiance and I wasn't listening. But baby, the fuckery that y'all have bestowed upon me. Look here, I didn't think it could get no more crazier with goddamn love connections online after goddamn catfish. But oh bitch, I was wrong. Here go 90 Day Fiance. Why the fuck was I slipping this whole goddamn time? I'm sorry, your auntie ap apologizes for it. Look here, y'all. I'm ready to get into it. Hopefully y'all are ready for this doggone review because you want you want to hear it. Here it go. Okay, let's get on up into it, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's start off with Jeffrey. He's 41. He's dating this chick named Varia. She's from Russia, right? She's his radio personality. Now he is the father of two teenage boys. Um, he's now Jeffrey is a zaddy in his own right mind. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of cute with it. I'm saying, oh, little rugged country boy. Look like he packed logs on the show dog goddamn day. You want some some goddamn something to eat, he go out and kill a deer, make your ass some fucking deer sausage or something. That's the kind of nigga he look like, right? Now, he did have a son, a younger son. I think he said it was like a year and a couple of months. Ended up passing away. He died of um, from complications after a seizure. Who that hurt my heart. But he's, I think what makes him so zaddy-ish is that like he out there, you know, he taking care of his sons. You can tell he's a good ass father and all of that. It's just real, real cute or whatever, right? Now, he also has rental property. He's a landlord, so he's a zaddy with money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he fixing pipes, cleaning pipes, and all of that. Let me stop y'all. It's, <laughs> it's so cute. But he ended up meeting Varia on um, an international dating website. Now, of course, his sons, his two teenage sons, think he batshit crazy, daddy. Who the fuck is this female, and why the fuck is you trying to travel out to goddamn Russia to see her ass? Now, daddy is in love with her. He is planning on proposing to this chick when he get there to meet her. Now, y'all already know, um, um, I'm, I'm very invested in catfish. You know, I like to call myself um, your, your local catch a catfishing bitch out here, catfishing catfishes. You know what I'm saying? I fucked that up. I didn't have a couple of these. Y'all forgive me. But um, I hope, now this is my first time reviewing this show. This is my first time, like, with all of this shit. I hope these people be real. Because, um, it's another couple I'm going to get into later that the shit is just like, mm, mama, you don't watch Catfish. But, um, he says he's in love with the chick. When he's ready to go out there, he going to propose to her and going to see what to do. Now, she's real beautiful. Um, what was that? On the next episode or something like that, he actually, you know, meets up with her. She seems real. But, uh, I don't know. Even still, even if you video chat, how you know the bitch ain't got a peg leg with a kickstand? Like, how do you know that? The bitch ain't got a pirate hook or something like that. She been talking to your ass with this hand the whole time. And this whole time, you ain't even know. And the bitch got a hook like this. Like, how do you trust shit like that? Y'all up next, we got Avery. She's 32. She's from Washington. She been talking to this nigga named Ash from Australia. Um, she is a single mother of two kids, a 10-year-old and a 2-year-old. Now, um, goddamn, Avery is one of them freakishly healthy, wake up at 4 in the morning and do yoga and meditate for an hour and then drink kale water all day type bitches. I ain't knocking no freakishly healthy drink kale, do yoga in the morning type bitches, but whatever with your fucking healthy ass, bitch, I ain't nobody ask you. But she's a cannabis chef. And when I seen that, I was like, oh, you just changed my whole perspective on you. You ain't type of bitch. Do you need a taste tester? I'm just saying, you know, holla at your auntie. 
Holla at your auntie. She was talking to this nigga, um, like I said, 38-year-old ass. He's from Melbourne, Australia. He's a relationship coach. He coaches single bitches on how to get the man of their dreams. Now, she says she worries about him talking to different women that, you know, he he often spends a lot of time online. She sees him online a lot. He says that he's busy. He's talking with different females because he's helping them in their relationship. Now, she's kind of, spec you know, um, you know, skeptical. I said spectacle. I didn't have come of these, y'all. Now, she's a little bit skeptical <laughs> yeah because she said this nigga knows the right thing to say about every goddamn thing because he's a relationship coach so that nigga know how to spit that hot fire from his mouth like oh no bitch you are the one the only one my only son can you be my diamond like he knows all the right shit to say so she's like i don't know about this nigga he might woo me out my panties and fuck around have me go down to australia bitch i be kidnapping a motherfucking kangaroo patch like i won't know what the hell going on now, she goes and hollers at her ex. Her ex and her are like real good friends or whatever, right? He's probably, he look like he a drug dealer. I don't know. That nigga had some beautiful leaves in there. They were lovely. But she goes and she tells him about, you know, her wanting to go to Australia to meet with Ash. Now, the ex is like, bitch, you was crazy. How you know this nigga not going to knock you over the head, kidnap your bitch ass, and put you in a goddamn kangaroo pouch? Like, you don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Now, she says that her and Ash have broken up three times already in the nine months that they've been talking. Bitch, no. Absolutely fucking luck. No, 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 no. No, we not going to goddamn do this. Now, she ends up going and having drinks with her homegirl and her homegirl's husband, right? Now, she tells him about the whole situation with her meeting with Ash and her supposed to be going to Australia to see this nigga. Now, her homegirl asks a valid fucking question, bitch. Why can't that nigga come, come bring his ass goddamn down here? She says that the nigga didn't tell her. He didn't lie to her, but he didn't exactly tell her that he had to file from a bankruptcy from an old business partner that fucked him out some money. So he had to file for bankruptcy. Being that he had that on his little record or whatever, he can't get his visa to come here to the United States. Now, bitch, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that. Like, I don't know about that. That's just a red flag to me. Like she said, he didn't lie to her. Bitch, he just didn't tell her. But then again, if he was lying in the first place about why he couldn't come, that could be... But still, I don't know. It's just something about this nigga that just seemed kind of a little bit off to me, right? Now, she says that one time, her and her homegirl were going through his social media because they had noticed that he had changed his relationship status to single. They go through his social media where her pictures were. All her pictures is gone. This nigga claimed that he got hacked. Showed her an email where he had got hacked and all of that. And, you know, she really didn't too much believe him after that. But then again, at the same time, like, she loved this nigga. He knows the right thing to say. He says, you are the sun, the moon, the stars, and everything like that. Homegirl's dude was like, nah, bitch, he fucking around on you. I hate to be the one to tell you, but, um. He fucking around on you. He's sneaky as hell. I'm a nigga, so I'm going to tell you that. He done had some bitches that went and got on his ass about you being all up on his social media, so he had to get rid of your goddamn ass real quick. That's what the fuck is going on. I'm trying to tell you. She still got a dead set that she finna go up there to Australia. She going to check on this nigga ass. Bitch, I hope don't nobody knock your ass in the head with <laughs> in the outback. And bitch, you end up in a goddamn kangaroo pouch. Don't say your auntie didn't warn you. Y'all, next up, we got Yolanda. I like Yolanda. She's a little cougar. <laughs> 51 years old. She is the mother of six kids between the ages of 17 and 29. She's been dating this nigga named William. He is 40 years old from England. He's a business uh, restaurant um, owner, right? Now, she lives in Vegas. Now, <laughs> I like her. Like I said, she's a beautiful sister. Black girl magic all up in this bitch. She lost over 150 pounds. She's a widower. She had been married to her husband for over 30 years, and he ended up dying of um, kidney disease, right? Now, she's having dinner with her kids. Her kids think that she is on a weight loss show. The only one that actually knows what she is doing is her oldest daughter. Now, you know, her. She that's her oldest child here. You know, she can confide in her oldest daughter. I bet you they're like best friends. The oldest daughter is the only one that knows... That she about to saddle up and ride her ass out to England and find her goddamn Englishman, right? Now, the daughter is skeptical as hell about this nigga because they've never FaceTimed. He told her his camera is broke. 
He can see her, but she can't see him. Bitch, what is that? Y'all already know. Y'all done seen your auntie catfish reviews. That nigga's a catfish. He's a fucking catfish. Nor has he ever sent her videos of him. She just done got pictures. All the pictures look like modeling pictures. Now, mind you, like I said, Mama 51, she don't know about how these niggas be catfishing bitches out in these goddamn streets. So I give her the benefit of the doubt, but then again at the same time, you are a mature woman of a certain age. You should know. No, girl. <laughs> oh, like, what the fuck? Now, nothing against her, nothing against her. She is beautiful, but Williams is almost too goddamn fine. Not saying that he wouldn't be with a woman like her. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the nigga is, he's just too fucking fine. I'm sorry. I, it, it just, it is what it is. He is too goddamn fine. Now, she's supposed to be traveling to England to see this nigga. Her oldest daughter said, no, mama, I'm fucking coming with you. Because this nigga ain't finna knock your ass over the head and take you to the Queen Castle some goddamn where I need to be right there with you. Because I don't trust this nigga. You ain't never seen him in no video like moving like this. You ain't never seen him. You just seen him in different modeling pictures and shit. Like I said, Boo Boo Yolanda, you are a woman of a certain age. You should know. Like, we gonna see what's gonna happen from there, y'all. Um, I don't watch the previews to the next one. We gonna have to call Neve on this motherfucker. Big Ed, y'all. Big Ed. Big Ed is 54. He is from Cali. He ain't got no neck. I know that's the whole reason why y'all was really bugging me to goddamn do this. Look here. I ain't saying about this nigga ain't got no neck. What had happened was, because I studied this in school, something about the vertebrae was infused together, and that's why it's like that. Y'all wrong as hell for that. Y'all wrong as hell for that. He been named this shit named Rose, 23 from the Philippines. Um, Big Ed been single for 29 years. Now, he was married for two years. He cheated on his wife. She left his ass. And so he's been single for 29, 29 years. I'm hoping he done got him a little something, something in between time. In the meantime, nigga, 29 years? Oh, you gonna blow somebody motherfucking head off, nigga? He has a daughter. She's 29 years old. Tiffany, very beautiful um, daughter he has. She not really fucking with her daddy right now because he talking to this little bitch that's younger than her. He wants to marry the girl. Like, he all serious. And he actually want to travel his ass to go and see her. Either she coming now or he going now. I ain't get that part. But either way it go, motherfucker, you don't even, like... If I was your daughter, I don't, I'd be mad at your goddamn ass too. How you gonna go out here and call yourself, you wanna marry a girl that's what, six years younger than me, man? No, goddammit. Ed is a photographer, y'all. He reminded me of Austin Powers when he was like, yeah, oh yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I was, I, I was thinking of Austin Powers when I seen that. I had been drinking too and I had just watched Austin Powers and that's what made me think about that. My bad. This nigga say he met Rosemary. He was scrolling through Facebook, friending people, and just so happened a friend her slid up in the DMs, and they decided to get cool from there. Now, I'm sorry. I would just call it what it is. That's weird as fuck to me. You just get on Facebook, and you just find random people to be your friends? I mean, if you ain't never seen nothing, it's different. Look here. Matter of fact, if you ain't following me on my socials, please do so. Auntie Momo underscore 512. But y'all know me, though. I'm your auntie. That's different. If you didn't know me, you just randomly came up. Oh, hey, let's be friends. Don't get me wrong. I'm a friendly bitch, but... Okay. He sends her a package every week. This nigga done spent over $5,000 sending this bitch packages. He said he spends more on the shipping than he do the actual gift that he sends her ass. Done sent this bitch blankets and pillows and all kinds of shit. But check this shit out. This bitch stay in a little village in the Philippines. She ain't got shit. Ain't got a goddamn thing this nigga done sent her. Child, when I tell you, it's a little Filipino family up there living fat. <laughs> They getting all them goddamn pillows and thread sheet counts and all that goddamn shit. They up there living good in the Philippines. Somebody got that shit. Rosemary ain't got that goddamn shit, though. Child, he goes and drops a package off at the post office. A little dude up there know his ass. He like, yeah, poor Ed. 
he really out here tricking off his money to this bitch. Feel bad for the nigga. Feel bad for the nigga. But you know, hey. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Ed goes to see his mama. Because he wants his mama to babysit his dog. Because it's just him, been him and his dog. Poor Ed. Poor Ed. He goes to visit his mama see if mama can babysit his dog while he go to the Philippines, right? Mama like, look, I don't want you going out the country going to see this bitch. You don't even know who the little bitch is. She could be a whole... 500 pound man and you don't even goddamn know it he's like no he's in love he's just been looking like he said mama i just <laughs> i just want to be happy for one nigga just want to get his dick wet that's all he want to do he's been single for 29 years he's want to get his little dick wet you know what i'm saying have a rub on a, a rub on his head and shoulders that's all he want. He want a little head and shoulders. That's it. Mom said, look here, you need to get your relationship right with your daughter first before you even think about getting into something with a bitch from the Philippines that you don't even goddamn know. He said, you know what, Mama, you right. I'm trying to work this goddamn thing out. But look here, I got to let you know, I got her a ring, okay, just in case, you know, I decide I want to go ahead and pop the question. Mama said, son, you stupid as fuck, son. But you know what? I'm going to be here to support you. Don't take no ring to that bitch and get it right with your goddamn daughter. He ends up going outside, calling his daughter, leaves a message for his daughter and all of that. But um, I don't blame his goddamn daughter. You finna go out here and trick off your money to some bitch that still ain't even got the goddamn pillows you sent her? Nigga. I'm telling you, somebody living fat in the Philippines right goddamn now. Y'all, we got Lisa, 52 from Pennsylvania. She been fucking with this nigga named Usman, Soja Boy, 30-year-old from Nigeria. Y'all know them fucking Nigerians is crazy. I don't give a damn. I'm going to say it because I used to briefly date this nigga from Nigeria. He was fucking like Congo Black Mamba goddamn crazy. I thought this nigga was going to goddamn do something evil to my goddamn ass. I was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Even when you calm, you talk like you goddamn man. Uh-uh. I ain't got no goddamn room for that. She's a hospice um, caretaker. Got a 15-year-old daughter. Now, Soulja Boy is a local rapper and celebrity in Nigeria. She said they've been dating for two years. He slid up into her DMs on Facebook. He slid up in her DMs. I said, all right, now, Mama, I ain't mad at you. They've been talking for two years. Um, she said that um, she's been divorced for four years. Her former husband cheated on her. So ever since then, you know, she's been single. She's been with Usman for two years, but she has a little issue when it comes to trust because of her ex-husband that went and cheated on her, right? Cha, Lisa goddamn ass is up in the goddamn uh, little salon place. She about to get ski ball. She getting a full goddamn body wax. She finna get this monkey bald about to Get this wolf patch, but detain that wolf puss. She finna get all that goddamn wolf puss. Just ski ball. She says she needs to be ready when she go to Nigeria and see her little African prince so he can pounce all on this or whatever, right? Now, she says that he wrote her a song. It's a little bop. Lisa, my girl, you know I love you, my girl. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I can't remember what the hell it was. I done had too many of these already. You see, I'm goddamn sweating. Child. She's jealous, though. She goes and checks this media, this nigga's social media three, four times 400 times all throughout the goddamn day going through checking his fans she gets mad whenever she sees that somebody will leave like heart emojis or something like that now mind you she's 54 is 54 52 he's 30 so she's got a little bit of insecurities about her that she gonna have to goddamn check but goddamn she be checking his ass she done screenshotted something off his social media sent it to him who the fuck is this he said oh i'm sorry my love i did not mean to disrespect you my love she replies back, well, nigga, I'm going to need you to tighten up your shit. You think you're going to be with a bad bitch like me? You think you're going to get this wolf puss? I'm going to need you to get your goddamn shit together. Y'all, the episode pretty much ended from there now. The new episode comes on tomorrow night. Today is Saturday. The new episode comes on tomorrow night. I will have that review for y'all. I ain't going to lie. It was good. It was a whole lot better than what I thought it was going to be. I appreciate y'all for suggesting this show to me. I was wrong. I was wrong. That was right. I mean, y'all, she can't admit it. It is what it is. Look here, y'all. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.